Are you old? Just like me. Do you want to play one of the old time greats in the MMO genre? Do you want to relive your childhood back in 2005 or 2006? Then you can just go ahead and check out our tale, which is going to be a recreation of old school 2006 MapleStory made by the community using the official MapleStory Worlds app. This is not a sponsored video, I'm just going to let you all know, I'm just going to be talking about my experience with our tale and just going back into old school MapleStory because old school MapleStory is tough, but I love it. Like I just mentioned before, I'm old. I probably just insulted and offended everyone that's 30 years old. Today I'm just going to be essentially just talking about my childhood. So I know Maple Story ever since like Maple C back in 2005 and essentially just started playing back in late 2006, created my own account in 2007 and just essentially just been playing Maple Story ever since every so often. I'm not a someone that just plays every single day, all day. I just come back and just play for a little bit, then just take a break and then just come back a couple of months later and then just take a break and so on and so forth. It's just essentially going to be my experience with Maple Story. However, Maple Story has been one of my first all-time MMORPG that I've ever played and it is one of those games that I always just remember fondly and I wanted to essentially just go back and just started playing old school Maple Story but there was no official way of actually just playing it up until very recently where we got our tale. Our tale is again it was on development for a little while but on Korea but since the Maple Story Worlds just launched globally then you can just essentially just play old school Maple Story and it, it has like a lot of the quests, a lot of the old training grounds and all that good stuff. There's some quality of life here and there like an auction house, two times the XP below level 70 and so on and so forth. There's some quality of life here and there but mainly it's just going to be like the same character, same old skills, like essentially the same way that you used to play back in the day. And let me just tell you, I've been enjoying it so much. Now the class that I've been using in our tale is going to be the fighter which is going to be one of the three subclasses on warrior. So I've never actually just used fighter back in the old school maple story days uh, i used to play spearman so this time around i wanted to try out the fighter or the hero crusader whatever you want to call it and as of right now as you probably can say in the background footage i'm level 45 so everything that i'll be talking about is going to be from an early game warriors perspective and let me just tell you the comparison between back then and right now is just insane so let me just give you a totally accurate representation of what is going to be a warrior or any essentially any class back then to versus right now but it's going to be mainly a warrior now picture this you're level 29 and you wanted to kill some creature called the evil eye which is this weird ass level 27 creature that is probably sponsored by colgate and it's going to go like he he, i'm going to bite your ankles and the thing is if you want to fight this creature you have to take like probably three or four years worth of traveling because you're slow as hell and the map are just ginormous and after you finally find one of them you use your strongest attack of course you're a maple player you end up using your strongest attack always but then you do realize you're a warrior where you're as low as hell and your attack range is the equivalent of giving someone a high five so you inch your way very very slowly just once you actually just go use your strongest attack and i forgot to mention that warrior characters are the equivalent of just someone using a blindfold it's kind of wild if you don't have like a lot of accuracy stuff yes you do need accuracy to hit enemies that are lower level than you it's crazy but anyways you do press the attack again and then you finally hit and you hit for like a low roll of 70 damage on a creature that has like 700 hp awesome and after you hit like three high fives to the enemy you finally finish it up and then you get a solid 0.09 percent of your experience towards your next level with two times the xp so slow leveling is an understatement so for comparison nowadays it goes something like this oh boy this is the start of a new journey what is this a waypoint is telling me to go through this portal and after you do like 17 flash jump, you arrive at the portal. Then you see a lot of creatures in the map and you go like, wow, these creatures, there's a lot of them in this tiny ass room. They're 10 levels above me. Am I going to be safe? I guess I'll just press this button and... Congratulations, not only did you clear the map, you extinguished the whole population of that creature and you're almost at third job. Nice. I'll just aside, I'm not saying the current day Maple Story is bad, 
it's just different much more faster pace it definitely makes you feel much more powerful from the get-go also as well you do level up really really fast and honestly i can see a lot of players who wanted to see old school maple story because it was a much slower pace and much chill version than current day maple story it's the same reason why a lot of players end up just enjoying old school runescape classic wow the same thing it's just, they just wanted to bring it back to what it used to be nowadays like on maple story like you go crazy you press a lot of buttons you essentially nuke the whole entirety of the map and especially if you do hyper burning you level up like three times every single time that you do level up and with traveling that is much easier with the free hyper teleport rock that you do get you can essentially just go from point a destroy map point b destroy map point c destroy map and you keep leveling up like crazy i'm not saying it's not enjoyable again it's just different it might feel overwhelming for someone that is newcomer or someone that is going to be a returning player before you go in the comment just telling me that i'm just hating current day maple story i am not i still do enjoy it from time to time whenever i do play it it can be fun just nuking the entirety of the map and just using all types of different characters and how different the character playstyle really is which is a thing that i will be mentioning with old school maple story modern day a lot of the characters feel very very unique again old school different the maps are just ginormous like i just mentioned they're huge 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 maps and then sometimes you might encounter a really strong enemies in one of those maps that is not supposed to be there I i'm looking at you pig beast where there's a bunch of creatures that are like less than level 20 and for some reason a level 42 iron hog just running around so you really have to be wary on some areas uh, your attack range is very small and slow I could be taken as a innuendo, so pause, I guess. Baba Bowie. But yeah, smaller attacks means that you have to properly position and know your range and your movement being very, very slow. It means that you have to really just get closer to an enemy just for you to actually just attack. Not to mention with the slower mobility, both vertical and horizontal, it means that you have to do more precise jumping and be careful to be knocked down because knockdowns can be quite brutal. You had to be wary on the stats that you do use on like current day maple story where current day maple story you essentially just can level up your main stats and you don't have to worry about also skill points old school you had to worry about skill points because you don't get enough skill point to max out all of your skills so you had to really think on what to upgrade in skills and not to mention your stats are going to be also as important with the aforementioned warrior being essentially just walking around blindfolded if you don't have dexterity or accuracy items and of course with the very very slow leveling it means that every single level feels like an achievement rather than like i just mentioned with hyper burning where you level up so quickly that you without even realizing you are oh yes i'm just running around level 200 like Baba. me right now that i've been playing quite a bit of our tale i'm still only level 45 and every level just feels like an achievement like yes i finally got a level let me just increase some stat let me just increase some of those skill points which can matter quite a whole lot not only for accuracy but also for extra damage and it just feels a little bit more rewarding every single time that you do level up and of course there are some other things that uh, are part of old school maple story that i may or may not enjoy a little bit i like for example this i know this will trigger some people out there and that is going to be waiting for the boat to travel from area to area like for example yes maybe doing it once might be oh cool going from victoria island to orbis and countering those battle rocks and you know nostalgia wow but unless you had like a teleport rock all of those things just take a, a long while to get to that point and you have to wait until a very specific time of the day to actually just find the boat so you can actually just go then wait for the boat or train in the case of ludibrio so you can actually just go back into into the other continent it's cool for like the first time but it can get old really quickly at least on our tail there's an auction house where you can easily just buy teleport rocks and those teleport rocks you had to just travel to the area once and then just save the area so you can use the teleport run all you need to do is just essentially either spend real life money or just buy it from the auction house which can be quite affordable and there's some pretty interesting jank let's just say that some of the attack range for example sometimes it feels like your character is throwing the weapon that's how far away you're hitting the enemy but sometimes you're like literally in sneezing distance and your attack just goes through the enemy for no reason like the hit detection is kind of whack i know it is server based it's not client based but it's still kind of kind of getting what and of course like i just mentioned with like the current day maple story with a lot of characters just feeling very very unique back then sometimes it can feel like some characters just feel pretty samey let's just say that for example, again, using the warrior's perspective, if you're using a second jump warrior, any of the 
three second jump warriors you essentially are doing exactly the same thing power slash or slash blast with a combination of final attack obviously the only difference is going to be the main weapon and some of the other extra skill like hyper body with spearman it's like very samey in that regard so if you are actually just playing modern maple story you're going to see that if you use those three characters that i just mentioned they feel really really different from one another but again that's just more of like a game back in 2006 essentially one of the oldest mmos out there it's not like i had like a lot of oh my god like very complicated stuff like i just mentioned it's very very old school like old school runescape classic wow it's just very simple to pick up and play and so yeah anyways that's just essentially a lot of the things that i just wanted to talk about like i've just been enjoying a whole lot of our tale uh, recently uh, i wanted to essentially just sit down and just talk for no goddamn reason uh, i know this video is probably not going to get any views and i don't care if it doesn't get any views i just wanted to make this video out there just in case if anyone just watches this video and resonates with the past and maybe motivate you to actually just play our tale just download maple story world and then just search our tale in maple story world it's really really good uh, i will just say if you really are missing some of those old school uh, maple story or old school mmo action where there's a lot of community base where a lot of people are just playing in parties or something like that playing with party quests and being a pretty active community especially since it's still quite brand new again like i just mentioned it's, it still hasn't even been two weeks as of the time i'm recording this so it is going to be like i don't know like uh, an interesting experience i'm probably just going to keep playing it who knows maybe i'll just stream it in the future no promises on that one but i just wanted to essentially just talk about uh, my childhood and talk about maple story for once anyways that's going to be everything for me thank you for watching thank you for the guys as always leave a like so for more content like this i don't know if i will make any more maple story in the future either way that's going to be everything for me thank you once again for watching and i hope to see you next time take care keep on hunting and farewell